Welcome to Inventing Things. Today is one of our first inventions on this channel. And before we get started, I would like to ask each and every one of you, what do you think the biggest challenge humans face is? My opinion is my coffee addiction. Well, anyways, this is why I built this. In, in theory, this device should allow me to jump off a nine foot six inches piece of metal. From that height, people can potentially hurt themselves or break their legs. Hopefully I won't break my legs. Anyways, let's get on to how you can build these potentially life-threatening boots yourself. So before we start this build, I would like to show you how the system is going to function in order to better understand how you're building this. This is the final product and what it's going to do is the cylinder is going to fill with air once you jump off an object which will push the cylinder itself down extending the hinge and the air inside of the cylinder will make it harder to push down so once you hit an object with the landing plate down here it will uh, become like a cushion so it's not as easy to close the cylinder but in relations to air pressure within the cylinder there is a uh, auto opening valve up here and this auto opening valve or release valve will open up once the cylinder releases 200 psi of compression and this is so that the cylinder doesn't take as much damage and because the cylinder is rated for 250 psi so that's how it functions and now let's get on to the actual building of the boot itself. The base of this project is this. A hinge from a garage door. And a piece of metal. Now that we have the base and the landing pad done, we're going to work on the connection of the cylinder, which looks like a two U's. This is the final product of the little hinge that we just got drill pressing. And now we are going to go and drill press these, the top cylinder connections. So let's go. Okay, so with that last session of drill pressing, we got the connections done for the top. And basically we just had to drill two holes. The first hole is for the actual connection itself to the cylinder and the second hole you put a bolt through to make sure it stays secure. And then you put two more bolts here on each side and these are going to the piece of metal that is going to your shin. Now that we have the connections done for the cylinder top and bottom, we can then go on to working on the piece of metal that holds the cylinder up actually and then we can work on the arms. We're going to take the two pieces of metal and make a 17 inch cut on a piece that is similar to it and once we get that, we can take it in the vise, bend it at 90 degrees at both sides. Then we can work on the arms, drilling the holes and drilling the holes for the top connection. Now we just have six more holes to drill and then we should be done with this part of the video. Once you're done cutting the 17 inch piece of metal, you can just put it in a vice grip and just bend and bend, and you get another U. There's a lot of U's in this video. And I copied hmm. the length of the pieces of metal for the arms, and now I'm gonna go over and just mark and drill. Then I can mark and drill the 
top connection for it. And we're at the end of the video, yay! Okay, so sadly it's the end of the video. I know you guys were expecting the full me jumping and breaking my legs, but that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna break my legs. Don't worry about it. Okay, so it's taken me four months to get this last video out because this video has been 100% designed by me. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it and I have fun making these videos and I hope you guys do too. Have a wonderful day.